this week's episode of Know Your CEO, we get to interact with Peter Yeko, the founder and CEO of HealthScope Medical Supplies. Take a look. Ever want to know how a CEO sees his world? And here's how. Apart from running an organization and strategizing, their key role is to ensure there's money in the bank. Our CEO this week is Peter Ayeko, the founder and CEO of HealthScope Medical Supplies. Peter, thank you for creating time. Yeah, thank you. Kindly describe to us the kind of business you're running. Uh, thank you so much again, uh, Linko. I run a company that supplies medical, uh, that is supplies and the consumable, by the name HealthScope Medical Supplies and Pharmaceutical Company. Uh, this is a company that deals with the medical supplies and consumables in different departments. Yeah. It also deals, deals with the pharmaceutical products. Peter, what prompted you to start this company? Okay. Uh, uh, being that I'm in the medical field, uh, that is the first instance. When you go to study, sometimes you study something that you can practice later on. And uh, what prompted me to start is that at all levels of your costs, you will always not be an, empl uh, an employee for someone for all the time. So I would always also like to create employment and also be uh, a CEO of my own. What year did you start this company? This group started um, in 2017, in my mind. In your mind? Yeah. Were you mind. still in school in but 2017? I was still in the, in the university. Uh -huh. I started health scope in my mind because I'd seen one uh, in medical field, I specialized much in medical equipment and consumables. Uh, being a medic, I knew very well when you get outside here, yes. you have to either work or do something. So I had started building the castles in the air to see what kind of business can I do. And being that I'm in a medic, I saw I can venture in medical field. Peter, where did you get seed capital from? I was saving some help loan, a bit small, small, eh, <laughs> in the bank. Yes. So when I finished up, I realized I had like uh, 102,000 102, shillings. 102,000 shillings. Yeah, only. Uh -huh. So these 102,000 shillings, I have a brother who is in the United States. He studied uh, computer science. So he has built himself there, and I told him to help me with some loan so that I can move on. Uh, what I did with one or two thousand in the bank, cooperative bank, I convinced them to give me a loan of around four hundred and something thousand. So I was clinching to half a million. Mm -hmm. Then I told my brother, now I'm having uh, half a million. You can add me like uh, half a million or a million. Uh, my budget trades to in between that. So he told me, uh, uh, she actually sent for me one, uh, 1.2 million. million. Yeah, that's when I saw now everything is possible because from there now I know how to start. Did you break even? Yeah. You did? I After did. After how long? Um, as I can tell you, medical staffs have got uh, uh, good money. Yes. If you know how to execute and how to do business, yes. you're likely to make money. So how many people are working under you? Currently... I work with around 13 people. 13 people. Yeah, that I've, I've got uh, that, that depend I pay, yeah. yeah, that depends on me. Now, Peter, this is a quick fire. You will loosen up a bit and get to know Peter a little in depth away from the office. Peter, how's your typical day like? My typical day uh, is uh, quite busy. As I told you, I also a representative of the Biomedical the Ministry of Health. Uh -huh. So I get to work at the Ministry of Health. And I also get to work at the health school. Yes. And I also get to work around. So uh, my uh, typical day is usually a very busy day. From 8 to 5? From 8 to 5. Yes. And sometimes even going up to overtime of up to 8 or 7. What do you do to unwind? Me, I mostly do table tennis. We should go head to head. I play table tennis too. <laughs> On one game <laughs> sometime soon. What's the largest amount of money you've made at a go? The largest money I've made is uh, 800,000 in a day. In a day? Yeah. One go, yeah. 800K. I've never Clean. seen it. <laughs> Have you ever lost money? How much? I've lost like uh, 200,000 when there was uh, a medical equipment I had supplied. Yes. And the, the driver got an accident. And the equipment was spoiled? The equipment was spoiled beyond damage. <laughs> so that one was a very big, uh, because this was a machine that is used in the maternity. It's called uh, CTG. Yes. Uh, yeah, so it's used to check the heartbeats of the 
fetus. So I'd lost it. It is 200,000. Advice to biomed engineering students or people who want to venture into what you're doing right now? It is easy to learn in the school and then come outside. It's very easy to follow that procedure. Yes. Because if you've been set for a target, like follow uh, this table around, yes. and then come to the center, you will exactly do that. Yes. Now the problem comes when you finish. Do you have any plan in your mind? Yes. What do you think? That's why you see most of the students now, even for the coops now, have realized that sometimes it is not just a bed of roses going to the university yes. to do a course that will not help you later on. So at least maybe you do a, a diploma course at a college level, but you know you can do something practical yes. when you get outside there. Another thing I would uh, advise the young people like me yes. is you should dare to dream. Dare to dream. Yeah. Nothing is usually easy. Dare to dream. Yeah. Yes. You have to dream and you have to always dare. For Peter Ayako, the founder and CEO of HealthScope Medical Supplies, prayer and daring to dream are the key to success. <laughs>